Ukrainian Alexei Novikov set a new record in strongman sport. In December last year, he has already won the world's strongest man competition in the United States and obtained a status of the strongest man on the planet. Later, he decided to take a new challenge. Our correspondent will tell you more. Before the record is set, the participants of the event are being weighted. There are six girls who will be placed on both sides of 120 kg mound called Super Yoke. Oleksii Novikov has to walk at least 10 meters with it on his shoulders. He lifts four athletes as a warm-up. This is one of my favorite exercises, the super yoke. I have many records of Ukraine in different formats and I won't add another record – live yoke. It is very interesting and very difficult. Oleksii tunes in and to sundry applause from the audience sets a new record. The representative of the Book of Records of Ukraine records the achievement. The author of the record is Oleksii Novikov. The total weight of the structure is 490 kilograms. The distance covered is 10 meters 45 centimeters. And the time spent is 12 seconds. Athlete Vasil Virastuk, the idol of Oleksii's childhood, congratulated the strongman with a new record online. It was great. I would not say it was extremely difficult for Oleksii. At least that's why it looked like. You see, when an athlete reaches a certain level of skill and technically performs the exercise correctly, it looks very easy for the spectator. But it is extremely difficult for an athlete. When asked how he feels in the status of the strongest person on the planet, Oleksii answered. Most of all, he is pleased with the attention of fans. Some people write me letters. They thank me for victory, for being Ukrainian. And I'm very happy that I can make ordinary people happy with my work, my hobby. I'm happy about it. The Ukrainian hero is going to confirm the title of the strongest man on the planet on February 27 at the world's ultimate strongman competition to be held in Bahrain. Reported by Roman Smoller, Olena Diduch, UATV News.